Today, Valley Congressman Ken Calvert is holding a grand opening event at his new Palm Desert office. I interviewed him about the new office and the constituent services it will provide, as well as his recent congressional delegation trip to Asia. Congressman Calvert, first off, tell us about your new office here in the desert. Well, we got a brand new office right here at the Palm Desert City Hall. I uh, hope a lot of people will come on out tonight, opening at 5 o'clock, and uh, we're excited. We want to give people great constituent service. You have a tax problem, you've got an immigration problem, you need a new passport, uh, you have a problem with Social Security, Medicare, uh, veterans issues, whatever, any federal agency, come visit us. Uh, we're here to help. I'm curious, why did you choose that specific location? It was right in the center of the valley. I thought it would be easier for people from Palm Springs all the way from La Quinta, kind of right uh, geographically right in the middle. Okay, and you just mentioned there will be a variety of services for constituents. That's correct. And uh, it, it's a great location, plenty of parking. So it's first door, uh, first story uh, locations. So you don't have to worry about stairs for seniors. And so uh, it uh, met all our needs. All right. I know you just got back from a trip to Asia. Right. Uh, as you know, I'm chairman of Defense Appropriations. Uh, we're looking at making sure we don't have a war in Asia. That, and that means uh, making sure we have a good common defense. So I visited Japan, who's doubling their defense budget. I went over to Taiwan. Obviously, they're concerned about an invasion from China and uh, South Korea, who's concerned about what's going on in North Korea. So a, a mutual defense agreements with all of these countries and uh, to make sure that we keep peace in Asia. How concerned are you, Congressman, about China? Extremely concerned. China continues to expand in the South China Sea, building these artificial islands. They're building ships uh, by multiples of ours. They already have a 380-ship three, Navy compared to our 260-ship Navy. They outnumber us in a lot of things, especially in that South China Sea uh, environment. And uh, so we need our partners to have force multiplication. Uh, so Japan is uh, doubling, as I mentioned, their, their budget. Australia is stepping up with, to get some submarines uh, from us. Uh, they want to get the Virginia-class submarines. The Philippines are uh, building up their military. They're extremely concerned because Chinese incursion you know, all over the place and, uh, is, uh, and their incursions over on the Spatley Islands also. So uh, we don't have a lot of time. Time's not on our side and we need to uh, make sure we uh, get the defense in there that's necessary. As Ronald Reagan said, peace through strength and deterrence stop wars. So we wanna make sure that deterrent is there. Do you think that conflict with China is inevitable or is this something that can be avoided? Nothing's inevitable. I think it can be avoided. I think that uh, it's not to China's interest to do so. Uh, it, it's much better to have a peaceful world. Taiwan is not interested in being part of China. Uh, that's just, they, they uh, just, if I just got back from there, they made that crystal clear. The people there, it's like 80% have no interest in that. Uh, unfortunately, China uh, wants to put Taiwan under its uh, wing. Uh, it didn't go so well for the people in Hong Kong, as we know. Uh, it used to be a free and open democracy. That it's no longer that. It's been, they've been uh, the democracy movement in Tai in the Hong Kong has been squashed. Obviously, the journalism uh, issue. They just throw them in jail, and so uh, we don't want that happening in Taiwan. <laughs> I do too. All right, Congressman, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us. Okay, thank you. Have a good day.